Let's talk about wearable pumps for just a minute. The market is really flooded with all of these little wearable pumps. They have a soft silicone back, which is modeled after the Mom Cozy. They usually come standard with the 24 millimeter diameter. And then the pump is up on top with this kind of collection cup on the bottom. Most of them um, will, you can change the mode. So when you turn them on, Some of them can actually be quite noisy. This one is by Kids Pros, and this one is actually really quite loud. It does have several different modes. They have a very long pull, and then it has a softer or quicker pull. This is your stimulation mode, and then it has your typical pull to release milk, and then you can change the vacuum on it. So it has different settings to try to trigger and release milk. What I don't like about this pump is typically, you're gonna put your nipple in here, it's gonna go in and out of the tunnel, and usually with these pumps, the milk intakes at the back of the flange tunnel. So your milk um, comes out of your nipple, goes to the back and falls into the chamber. Look how close that milk valve is. So for most people where their breast is gonna be in here, their milk is gonna go in and collect at the back and then have to come back forward to go into this hole to then come into the pump. So this is a really poor design because your breast and nipple are actually gonna block that hole and not let milk efficiently go in. Also, most people need a smaller flange than what these come with. So if you put a flange insert in here, you're gonna cover that hole. So your milk is gonna have nowhere to go. So there's lots of these little wearable breast pumps on the market, but buyer beware. They have tried to modify these pumps just slightly um, so that uh, they can market them and brand them and sell them. But a lot of these design changes have made them really poor quality design for what they're intended to do. So if you have a little wearable pump and you feel like it's not moving milk well, it's most likely how the design was on that knockoff brand. Um, if you tried to get something cheap off of Amazon as a wearable pump and also know that most of these pumps you're going to have to pump for longer or more often than a primary pump to move the same amount of milk. So if you're getting one of these, little wearable pumps on Amazon buyer beware that sometimes they can be quite loud their the suction negative pressure it generates the cycles can be a little off because of the brand and they can also have really poor design design choices now you know